Ta -da! Today, let's talk about the dye fluid particle analyzer. So, they have they have this very expensive machine. They have this very expensive particle analyzer, which is the Omni. Um, it is mostly used by um, roasters, right? And recently, they released a consumer-friendly, like end-user-friendly particle analyzer just by using your phone with the app of DiFluid. So it's not 100% correct. It's not 100% um, accurate, but um, it gets you, I'm not sure about the percentage, but it gets you close, close enough for you to use it for your everyday brew. This product, um, they actually sell it, DiFluid, actually sell these products but unfortunately here in the Philippines I asked the official distributor of dye fluid here in the Philippines and they told me that they don't have any plans of importing it so I made my own um, of course this is based off um, the file of dye fluid you can actually download it from their website and then um, print it on a paper. Just make sure that you set your printer to print to actual size. Right? Do not fit to page. Set it to actual size so that you get the um, perfect measurements for you to use it with your phone. Anyway, me being Daryl, I can't just use the paper. Right? So I had it printed on something like this. So this is like the actual um, product that Dye Fluid makes. And I also made an acrylic one, which I can put on a light box, right? Um, let me set my overhead camera. So here is a light box that I use for most shoots, for most um, filming purposes, right? And then when you turn it on, Ah, uh, there. So I can lower the lower the amount of light passing through so that we can actually use it um, properly. So I can increase the light to increase the contrast. The problem with this, the problem with the um, the problem with the product from the dye fluid is it will depend on the amount of light. So it, you need proper lighting, right? You need proper lighting to get, um, to get a good reading on the coffee grounds, right? So what I did was instead of putting light over the product, instead of putting light over this one to get good contrast, because if you put light on top of it it casts shadows so automatically your analyzer won't read it properly because the analyzer on the app would think that the shadows is part of the particle which will read bigger microns so what i did was i put the light under and i can simply increase the amount of light or decrease the amount of light depending on the conditions of my ambient um, surroundings right so yeah we can actually I can actually show you what happens when I use it here is my commandante grinder and let's get some coffee now um, Let's get a couple of beans and then set your settings, open your app and then just let it fall there. Now as you can see, we have very good contrast, right? We have very good contrast. 
I can increase the light to get better contrast or decrease it depending on the amount of ambient light around me, surrounding me. So this way, in this way, I can actually get a better reading when I'm using the app. Right. So I will be using this tool in future videos, in future tests. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you what I did with the Dye Fluid Particle Analyzer that they released. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!